I had I had well, so many me? great matches that I had in my mind for for Lesnar. Wait, time out. Time Lesnar out for- and Gunther. Oh God, here we Lesner go. Lesnar and Lashley versus uh-huh. uh, Bray White and Uncle Howdy. Dude. That's that's my dream dream match Look, right there. Leslie and Shane, uh, Leslie, Lesnar and Sheamus, Lesnar and whoever, Lesnar and anybody he can throw heavy hands with and throw around and all that stuff is going to be great. But you got to look at this from Brock Lesnar's point of view. Why would he take this? Because it's going to be about three and a half minutes. His entrance will be longer. He'll get paid a lot of money. He'll be drinking beer and back home by about, oh, I don't know, nine o'clock local time. And you know what? If it happens on Saturday, he's got the rest of the weekend to get the hell out of there and do whatever he wants. Well, you know, I was thinking about how much I didn't want to see this match compared to other matches I wanted to see. But, you know, when you really think about it, okay, (laughs) I want everyone to stop what you're doing. Because, you know, as a father, I've been trying to teach my children life lessons. And you know what a very important life lesson is, Mike? What's that? To just do one thing at a time. Mm. When it's time to go from the house to the car, the only thing that you need to do is get in the car. Mm. Point A to point B. You don't need to stop and get a stuffy. You don't need to stop and get a snack. No. You don't need to pack. Just get from the house. Just do the one thing from the house to the car. Straight line. That's it. Yeah. Then you can do some other stuff. You got to do one thing. So what I want you all to stop doing is whatever you're doing, quit typing in the chat. Quit reading your phone. Just do one thing, and that is listen to me. We are going to see Brock Lesnar versus you move the mic. That was not one thing. You tried to do two things. You tried to listen and move the mic. Right now. We are going to see Brock Lesnar wrestling Omos. I've changed my mind. When you think about it, when you actually think about it, just don't think about anything else, but think about this. Brock Lesnar is going to wrestle Oh, Moss, God, what a world. Knock, knock, who's there? Ric Flair. Ric Flair who? No, Ric Flair who? (laughs) I didn't get that one. (laughs) (laughs) Knock, knock, who's there? (laughs) Bailey. Bailey who? We Bailey made it home in time to watch SmackDown. That's not how knock, knock jokes work. (laughs) We Bailey? What does that mean? She's small. And we barely made it home. Oh, we barely made it. <laughs> wow, your Invisalign made you dumb. <laughs> Why did the referee referee's feet smell when he was working? Because he was a doody, doodle. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> because he was a doodle. His feet smelled because he was a doodle. Yeah, I don't get it. See, these, these, these are so dumb that they're funny. Am I high? I don't. I, I drove here. I think I was sober when I got here. If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.